For the athletes that have had the luxury of choosing between playing in the NFL or MLB, it's been known to be an easy choice. And the choice is simple. Would you rather grind through minor league baseball and live cheap for several years, or earn a lucrative contract right away and be famous with 20 million people watching you play every week? So in today's video, I'm gonna be making a list of current and former NFL players that were also drafted in the MLB, and I'll go over how their careers turned out. I won't be including the ones everyone has heard of like Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson, so be prepared for some surprises. After Michael Vick's record-setting freshman year at Virginia Tech, he was selected in the 30th round of the MLB draft by the Colorado Rockies. Vic hadn't played baseball since the 8th grade, but the Rockies were amazed by his athleticism and cannon arm and had nothing to lose by selecting Vic in the 30th round. Although Vic actually considered to return to baseball to help his family financially, he was instead patient and waited three years to sign the largest rookie contract in NFL history at the time. Deion Sanders is the only athlete in sports history to play in the Super Bowl and the World Series, as well as suit up in an NFL and MLB game in the same day. On October 11th, 1992, he played for the Atlanta Falcons in a road game against Miami at 1 o'clock, then boarded a plane, then helicopter to arrive in Pittsburgh for the Braves playoff game against the Pittsburgh Pirates at 8.45 that night. That season, the Braves would eventually lose to the Toronto Blue Jays in the World Series, where Sanders started in four of the six games and had a batting average of 529 during the series. Although some would assume primetime was a pushover in baseball, Baseball. He played nine years in the MLB and totaled 186 stolen bases with a 263 batting average. Eight of those nine years, he somehow played both sports at the same time, becoming one of the most iconic athletes in the history of pro sports. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2011 and is now the offensive coordinator of his son Shador Sanders High School team, who is the star quarterback and baseball player for Trinity Christian High School in Texas. Colin Kaepernick was a 4.0 student at John Pittman High School in Turlock, California. He was a three-sport athlete playing football, basketball, and baseball, but received the most attention in baseball. Colin received several offers for college baseball and was selected in the 43rd round of the 2009 draft by the Chicago Cubs. He chose to attend the University of Nevada to play quarterback, which was the only college football offer he received. Troy Aikman was a standout football and baseball player at Henrietta High School in Oklahoma. Out of high school, he was offered a contract from the New York Mets to be an outfielder. It was an easy choice for Aikman to decline since he started as a true freshman at quarterback for the University of Oklahoma. In the offseason, Aikman would watch baseball practices almost every day on campus and head football coach Barry Switzer suggested he play on the baseball team as well, but he declined. Since then, Aikman has been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame and is a color commentator for Fox announcing NFL games. He has been known to be accidentally over conspicuous about getting excited for Cowboys touchdowns while announcing their games on live TV. He is also best friends with Joe Buck. John Elway was one of the most anticipated athletes in sports history before being drafted in the NFL in 1983. Elway was a nationally known prodigy in football and baseball for the University of Stanford and was drafted in the second round of the 1981 MLB draft by the New York Yankees. Elway played in the summer of 1982 for a Yankees minor league affiliate to receive a $150,000 bonus. When drafted by the Baltimore Colts first overall of the 1983 NFL draft, he said that he would rather be a garbage collector than play for the Colts. 
results. He then threatened to play in the minor leagues for the Yankees if he had to play for the Colts. He used his baseball potential as trade leverage after refusing to play for the Colts and was eventually traded to the Denver Broncos to be their starting quarterback. He is known as one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play and is now the general manager of the Broncos. Before Tom Brady was winning Super Bowls at will, he was more notably regarded as a baseball player rather than football during his childhood and was drafted by the Montreal Expos in the 1995 MLB draft following his senior year. My previous video covers his childhood and baseball career, so if you're interested in that, go check that out after the video. Dan Marino was selected in the fourth round of the 1979 amateur draft by the Kansas City Royals. During high school, his ceiling was much higher for baseball than football, as he was the best player on his baseball team from the time he was a freshman and through the four years, while in football, he didn't even start until his junior year. His decision to stick to football ended up working out for him and was selected in the first round of the 1983 NFL draft. Marino has the fifth most wins as a quarterback in NFL history, one spot behind John Elway. His legacy unfortunately isn't as good as it could have been since he is the most winningest quarterback ever to not win a Super Bowl. Jameis Winston was drafted by the Texas Rangers in the 15th round of the 2012 MLB Draft. He played both sports for Florida State and was a third team preseason All-American in baseball before his redshirt sophomore year. That season he pitched 33 innings out of their bullpen with a 1.08 ERA. But there wasn't much of a question on which sport Winston would play since he was drafted first overall by the Buccaneers in the 2015 NFL Draft. So that just about wraps up my video. Six of the eight players on this list were first round picks in the NFL, so choosing the fame and money of an NFL quarterback over the minor leagues was almost a no brainer for these guys. But the amount of potential wasted in the MLB from the players on this list makes you wonder what could have been. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd truly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.